Hi, Internet! I'm Litrick, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3, where we have just defeated the great High Lord Volnir, whatever his, what, whatever his title actually was. And what I'm going to be doing right now is spend, is going on a shopping spree with the souls that he gave me. I also have to figure out exactly what sort of stuff he gives me over there. But I also picked up a Pyromancer Tome, so let's see what those things are first, because I think that's where I want to prioritize my spending needs. Cornix! Cornix, I've got more things for you. No, you're not Cornix. You're the other guy. I don't care about you. Oh, here you are. Ah, there you are, unkindled. Oh, wait. One more thing. I have to actually read the description of the tome this time because I keep giving tomes away without knowing what they're, th what they're, what, what they say. You know. So let me see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Deep Braille Divine Tome. That's what we saw earlier, right? Intended to teach divine protection to the deacons of the deep, but later dark tales were added to its pages such that it is now considered a thing profane. So we definitely don't want to give this to our miracle lady. This pro we probably want to give this to someone. Well, I imagine we're probably going to want to give this to someone else because I know there's a few NPCs that we still haven't picked up yet. And I think there's going to be a dark-focused one. I can't remember what their name is, but I think I saw something like that in my research. So I think this is the one we would care about. Grave Warden Pyromancy Tome. So we're going to be learning some more fire. A Pyromancy Tome with the Grave Warden from the Carthus Catacombs. Give the Pyromancer Master to learn Black Flame Sorcery. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. We're not learning fire. We're learning darkness. This is what I wanted. This is the best Christmas ever. And it's fitting, too, because we made it to Ethereal. Well, Ethereal. I don't know how do you pronounce it. High Lord, High Lord Volnir of Carthus succumbed to the abyss, but the Pyromancer later became a Grave Warden and discovered the Black Flame, just as we are about to do with our big fancy hat. Ah, there you are, unkindled. Wait a minute. Is this something that'll actually like make him crazy? Hold on. I, this, emergency look up. Never mind, this is a book I'm going to be holding on to for a little bit because it's not even a similar thing where, like, uh, apparently, yes, the maiden can be driven, like, into darkness by giving her bad tomes. And this is definitely a bad tome. Cornix re recognizes that he won't even take it. So that's, 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 that's good, I guess. That means that we have to actually find somebody who will take it. And apparently their name is Carla. So we have to find Carla at some point. I... I think I read that she's in a dungeon in the area that we are about to start exploring. So it's good that we're here now. In the meantime, time to get rid of these souls. Well, that took me longer than I thought it would. And that's because like I had to spend a few other hard souls in my inventory to actually get a few more uh, extra souls out of it. But right now, I think I'm level 40. So we're making good progress. I, I buffed up my uh, dexterity, intelligence, faith, and vigor. So I have more health, more magic power, and I should be able to wield one more weapon if I so chose. It was mostly just, it, it felt right to get 18 dexterity. And I'm probably not going to touch dexterity ever again. Because I sh at this point, I should be now focusing hard into magic. So attunement, vigor. Intelligence and faith. In the meantime, though, what I've been told while uh, sort of like looking up what my build should be, I should probably head back to this room real quick to see if there's something that dropped. Um, at least that's what I was looking at. What I was doing is that I was telling a friend about the build that I'm trying to do in between those cuts, and they were telling me if I picked up a certain armor set in here that I think I probably should pick up just for the sheer humor of it, if it is indeed in here. Because, like I said, well, not like I said, like what was happening- ooh. Ooh, there is something here. Okay, well, I was more ta gonna talk about Sigward not sort of like being here. Oh, snap. Oh, no. Oh no, we have to see what this looks like right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta you gotta put on this. Don't look at don't look at don't look don't look don't look don't look at her. Don't you know you want to, but you don't look at her, don't look at her, keep your eyes on the left of the screen while I do this. Alright, let's take a look and see. Pope S Brumble. Papist Bramble. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh look at this. Oh I have to see what the stats are because they're probably terrible. Okay, let's see what the stats are. My physical is very low. Magic is okay. Well, no wait, those are my standard things. What are my armor stats then? Oh. Lead, poison, frost, and curse. I have an amazing curse resist right now, and my absorption is all in magic, fire, lightning, and dark, which is standard. Okay, I'm gonna come. You stay right here. I'm gonna compare what this actually looks like compared to my other armor set because, like, 
damn. So after a little bit of tweaking around, this is kind of what I ended up with, which honestly looks pretty cool. Now she's kind of like a witch knight. And that's totally fine. What I was doing is I'm looking at the numbers and also where I'm going. Obviously where we're going is snowy, so I imagine there's going to be a lot of frostbite going on, but just in case I also kind of spec towards curse. I actually haven't looked at what my ending numbers are. Curse is good, frost is good, everything is totally fine. Yeah, this is a well-rounded armor set. This is, this'll, this'll work, this'll work. I think this'll be fine. This is what I'm wearing for now until I find something better. It's a shame. She doesn't look as witchy before, but the, the hat's still great. The hat is everything that's important. All right, let's so go see what we can do here. Now that we've spent half of an episode worrying about what we look like and trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing, let's get to the real game of Dark Souls and start dying. Here we go. Let's see what new things we have. All right, so this is, this is the guy we saw before. I wonder if he goes anywhere if he just sort of like disappears. I think he disappears or does he want me to follow him? Because he's heading to the center. He's heading to the bonfire. No? Where is he going? I don't know. Alright, well, it doesn't matter. He's going to start coming back. And now we're going to fight this guy who is very fast and you've got a curved sword. So I'm going to stand over here and it looks like it's definitely frost. So we're gonna stay out of your way. Ow! Oh, I was gonna s s stay out of your way. It's fine. We'll probably fight you again because I don't want to start a level with only just one. Oh, I almost had him in stun lock. Back off, back off, back off, back off. Oh, wow, you're doing it. Just keep dancing, huh? What's he doing? Oh! Nope. You think you got your fancy dark magic, but you can't fight a witch knight like Grandma Brumble? Oh my god, I love it. I love all of this. Okay, what else do we got here? Bearing required ahead. I should think not. I was doing just fine without it. We could go that way. We could go that way. Or we could fight this man. Or what we can do is pick up this item and not and not give a, give a crap. Alright, soul of a weary warrior. Excellent. Anything we can do here? No. Is someone going to reach through the glass and take Grandma by the throat? Doesn't look like it. Good. Let's see what we can do over here. It's This definitely looks like a uh, sort of like shortcut that I'm not going to be able to open. Yep, that's a shortcut. Okay, so keep that in mind. Remember this. Remember all what this looks like so we know exactly where we are next time we do it. But also there's an evangelist in that room. So if we ever fight an evangelist... It, oop, here he comes. Well, if you're going to fight from a distance, here's what we're going to do. Magic on magic, sir. I'm gonna keep this up until your shield breaks down, because it will. Oh no, there's a second one! Well, I'm back here now. Whoa! You closed the distance real fast. That's the wrong thing. Ooh, that was flashy. Kinda want that spell when I get it, if it's a spell or a sword skill. It's probably a sword skill. And behind you. You tried to get all fancy schmancy, but now Grandma's gonna get the snap on your butt. Oh no. Stuck on the wall. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Ow. Well, now we have to play aggressive because you guys are not being fun. Okay, well that's taken care of and let's see what- Oh, I've been frostbitten. Only a little bit though. <gasps> oh, we have the sword. Let's see if we can actually do the thing that he was doing. Where is it? Okay. Uh, curved sword, curved sword, curved sword, curved sword. There it is. Okay. Uh, curved sword wielded by the pontiff's knights. Frigid spirits that linger in ethereal. The large blade appears to be eaten away by insects, making it lightweight but also brittle. Frost blade. Execute large spinning motion to imbue blade with frost and follow through with a strong attack that slashes the with a giant blade made of frost. That is neat. That is also what they're doing. We already have our ice sword, though, so I'm probably not going to be putting points into that. Unless I, it can, I can do it with... Um, a lower grade Titanite, because right now, kind of, kind of running on twinkling right now, and there's not a whole lot of that exactly. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna close the distance super fast. Yep, and you're gonna keep dancing. I'm gonna take advantage of you moving around like that, and you made a mistake. Ow! Nope, nope. I'm gonna take a drink. I, I don't want to keep my back to this area. Here, let's let's switch to this. Ouch! 
Because I imagine you're weak to- Ow! Well, let's let's not let him do that again. I'm running out of Estus, though. There we go. That's the easy way to do it. Yeah. All right. Did you drop anything for me? Give me a present. That's fine. All right. Well, we'll keep moving on because uh, I don't I don't really have a whole lot of stake in the souls that I'm gonna lose if I die. And right now, I just kind of want to see what I'm working with here. Those guys aren't so bad. Not too hard to deal with. I just have to keep on my toes. Anything over here? No. That totally looked like a place that they would hide something, though. Oh, look! Hello! Hello, weary traveler! What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk past you, and you can have fun in the bonfire room. Is that one of the people from the swamp? What'd you do? How'd you guys get all the way up here? Oh, there's two of you. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna hide behind this thing until I figure out where I'm going. Doesn't look like there's any items around, so if there are, it's probably behind the fountain. And what I need to do is I need to wait until the back is turned so I can actually deal with it. Too bad I didn't go for the other one, huh? <laughs> okay, well now we gotta wait. Oh! Wait, never mind. He made the mistake of turning around right now. But his friend is still walking in that direction, so we want to stay over here. Out of view. Oh! Okay, well... Uh, abandon that abandon that plan. Okay, well, we're just gonna make a run for it over here and hopefully none of them follow us Never mind if we're gonna follow us only one of them Nope That was well timed though. I thought I had my shield equipped, but I didn't all right Well, we got to be extra careful Because I don't want to use too many more Estes flasks without then without needing to we're gonna hide behind this thing Because you are a dummy and you don't know how that. Okay, well you know what? He can do it without having. Ow! It can go through walls too. All right. Well, we're just gonna we're just gonna grab what we can. And there's multiple of you. All right. Well, drink. Ow! Son of a. Son of a. Son of a. All right. Well, we're out of Estus now. So I'm not gonna go over in that direction. Never mind. It looks like I have to because there's no way to go from here. All right. Well. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of you dark people. Oh, that that sounded racist. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant, meant to say. I meant the, the people of darkness. Ooh, and a lot of fire. Maybe I should respect my armor so that I'm still wearing fire. So I'm probably gonna have to go back to my old armor set. That sucks because I kind of wanted to update my look. Ooh, hello, Twinkling Titanite. Hopefully, where are you going? There we go, Twinkling. Yes. Not enough though. Well, I don't think we have enough. I think I need one more Twinkling Titanite. And we have no more health, so we're just gonna grab what we can before we die. Oh, which may be very soon. Yep. Okay, well, that's fine. On to the next attempt! Oh, wow. He took care of me much faster this time since I didn't have the Ember. Okay. It's a shame those Pontiff Knights really run through my um, stamina like it's tissue paper. Because I, it, like, I'm wasting too many Estes flasks trying to get to this point, and uh, it's not fun having to fight all these things, or at the very least, run past them like I have been. I started this too early. There we go. Oh, ooh, item. Grab that. Ooh, neat. Missing, missing me with the flamethrower. Oh look, there's more dark, dark, dark addled swordsmen. We're gonna wander over here before they make any mistakes. So they follow me. I'd rather follow, fight them up here. Oh, geez. Well, I might have to fight a lot more than them. All right. Nope. Oh, good. The pontiffs didn't realize I was here. Sweet. That means I can sneak past them and not have to deal. Or I could try and go that way, but it looks like they're all coming down in this direction, which is fine for me. All right, so can we go through this, or is this locked up? Because it looks like it's locked up, and that might just be a stained window. All right, never mind. Moving on. Let's see. What else can we do here? Oop. Sorry, I'm messing around with my timer just to take a look and see how much time I have left. All right, so we should be safe to move around here as long as they're down there. And it doesn't look like they're coming back just yet. Oop. Nope, they're all moving down there. And we don't want to go down that way, because it looks like there's another fireman. 
And some more ice knights. So I'm going to grab this. And hopefully there's no one here to stop me. Okay, just a soul. That's fine. I need to collect more of those after I'm um, spending a bunch on leveling up that last time. Uh, ooh. Ooh, I just realized that this is a flame fireman. Alright, can we get these before the Pontus realize I'm here? Hopefully. But they can close the distance pretty quickly. Okay. 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 Oh, I can't backstab him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh my god. I rolled, though. I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm fine. There we go. I probably shouldn't have fought that guy, but I did, and I was rewarded with a large titanite shard. Good. Ooh, hold on. Is that a way I can go? Let me just take a quick peek. Sweet. It looks like I can make my way through this area, so I can... I can't drop down, but it doesn't look like there's anything over there, so never mind. That's not a way I want to go. And I think the knights are back. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. One of them saw me. Damn. This is not the best place to fight them, but it's one of the shield knights, so it won't be too hard as long as I get this guy away from me. Okay. 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 Does he notice me? Hopefully not. And you can't shoot through the banister. All right, time for us to fight. Nope. Oh. Ow. I shouldn't roll into him because I need to heal. Okay. Nope. Damn, damn, damn. Stop it! Ugh, come on. He's not letting me blow him up, and it's not fair. It's not fun. This game isn't fun anymore. Because you're not letting me do what I want. Oh, you're letting me do what I want. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Now I have to fight this guy. Yep, 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 yep. Bye, 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 bye. Goodbye. And we're not going to go straight because that's where they are. We're going to hide around here. Never mind. He knows where I am. This is not good. Dang. I was hoping I could backstab him. And we saved the last bit to roll. And we're going to get you. There we go. All right. Not so bad. Not so hard. And as long as I am aware of my surroundings. And he did not drop anything, so we're just going to grab this. Sweet! Okay, I think... I, I actually I actually don't know. Okay, well, I was going to say maybe that's enough to actually level up my Pyromancer Flame, but there's no way of knowing until I get back. Because I have not been keeping track of that. All right, let's see what else we have. More items. With no guards. Oh, except for that one who is almost looking right up at me. So we're just gonna walk over here and not deal with it. He is guarding an item though, one that I might want. It's just I don't have a whole lot of fire defense is the thing. I'm gonna take a drink of this. What else is up here before I take the plunge and try to, there's a, so much to explore here. Hey, bonfire. Sweet, so it wasn't a complete loss. How much time do we have left on the episode? Oh, okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there and activate that bonfire. I have to... I just had to realize what I was saying there because I was totally wandering off to see if there's another treasure I could pick up, and I definitely don't want to walk my way... my ass back here. Okay. That's activated. And there's a person over here. Is there a trap? Why would there be a trap in a, um... a bonfire room? Proof of Concord kept? Proof of a Concord kept. Hold on, what is this? Is this, a, is this another, like, covenant item? Proof a dark spirit was felled by a blue sentinel. Blood drained, shrunken ear. Souvenir taken by subduing the guilty. The knights called the blades of the dark moon punish the guilt-soaked defenders of the gods and take this as proof of their conquest. This earless corpse of the guilty will be left behind as a warning to others, inspiring both fear and respect for the gods. Such is the eternal mandate of the Dark Sun. So this is probably going to be a PvP thing where, because I'm here, it's going to summon people from that covenant to fight me. Except, not really, because I don't have an ember, so I don't have to worry about him. What else is down here? There's so much to explore, man. I have to end the episode soon, but I don't want to because I want to keep picking up things. Alright, roster of knights. Oh, this is another PvP item. Okay, hold on. 
my ti- my timer's going off because I should have ended the episode, but I didn't. It's fine. Let's see what we what this thing is. Check Dark Moon Knights. Online play item, a roster of knights of the Dark Moon who have served since the age of the old royals. Used to discover the name of Dark Moon Knights and order of elite knights shrouded in shadows. So this is where I, that's an item I can use to look up people who are part of that covenant. Cool. Anything else out here I can get before uh, some enemy drops down and slaughters me like a chicken? Ooh. Uh, ooh! Ooh, that was close. Oh, there's more of you. Okay, I was about to realize it. Ooh, did you just turn invisible? Oh my god, there's invisible enemies now. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I know you're here. I saw you. And the moment I pick this up, you're gonna try and get me. Baiting soul. It wasn't worth it. It was a trap. Oh my god, that was like, that was definitely a bait. Okay, well, gotta keep my eyes and ears open now. Which is a shame because I'm playing with my volume kind of turned low. I'm just gonna grab this. That is also a bait. You're baiting me. You're baiting me. Why are there such a- ooh. It's a dark assassins. Okay. Are you someone I can kill? No, you do just saw me and I don't like that. You look familiar. Have I fought one of these things? Oh, it's a crow! Yeah, I'll blow you up. There we go. Gonna grab that. Homeward bone. And we're gonna grab that. Undead bone shard. Sweet, that is an ending point. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to the bonfire shrine so I can actually, like, boost up my Estus flasks because I probably will need that at some point. Not really because my health is not big enough to justify it, but my magic will be. So, well, I'm gonna call it there, and we're gonna call that an episode. So, until next time, everyone should... Okay, that's just a that's just a that's just somebody who's resting at the bonfire. Until next time, everyone should try to survive the night and good night.